Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. What you're looking at is the Goldfish Aquarium out in the Lanai. Uh, this is a live shot of it. Okay, so this tank was set up on September 23rd, 2021. And uh, so that makes it about eight months old. Now during that eight months, about once a month, I've been testing out the aquarium for nitrates and phosphates to see if the anoxic filtration system that's in the canister or if the plenum has been working correctly uh, like everybody would do. Test out your water maybe once a month just to see how things are going. And during this time, the eight months of doing this, uh, I show how to set up the aquarium and uh, go give you instructions so if you want to look at past videos but uh, this is something that uh, I tested it and uh, this is an example of one of the tests I did in February. Nitrates have uh, been anywhere between 19 parts per million to 15 or 16 parts per million and it just seems to have not you know been a little high for what I thought would be a little high. And here's one that's 15.9 parts per million. This was taken in February. So I wanted to keep everybody up to date what's been going on. Sometimes it takes longer in some, in some aquariums. Sometimes it doesn't take as long in other aquariums, depending on how they're set up, maybe the fish load. But inside the canister, I cleaned it all out uh, June 1st and that was six months and I have three of these BCB bags inside the canister. I also made my generic Dick Boyd's because to save money as you can see Dick Boyd's is uh, very expensive so I made a generic Dick Boyd's. I also put my phosphate pads in but I did not use the GFO. GFO is kind of expensive and I know sometimes Dick Boyd will use something like a GFO in their uh, Dick Boyd's, but that's mainly for salt water. So what I've done is just went with these pads. Uh, for a canister, you can get several pads you can put, you can make, and you only use one in your canister. A lot of people ask me, why do I use the pads if it's supposed to do this, that, or anything? Well, it's just for extra insurance to help bring the phosphates down. This is also the resin that you mix with the carbon when you make the generic Dick Boyd's. I have a whole video on how to make the generic Dick Boyd's with the resin because that's, that's exactly what Dick Boyd's uses. So today I thought well I'll give it my test this morning on my nitrates and phosphates. And here are the two tests this morning. And as you can see, the nitrates are now zero. So they finally have broken. And the hornworth that's in there has to be cleaned out about every two, three weeks. I have to clean it and thin it out. But this is the first time it's read zero. Every other month it's, it's been higher, but now it finally has broken the nitrogen cycle now is being completed in its fullest and this is what I mean by the nitrogen cycle being completed in its fullest because this is what happens in natural systems the nitrogen cycle does get completed in its fullest by bacteria without using anything except bacteria this is through the plenum and this is through the BCB bags that I made has finally matured to break it in. Now remember, I've been waiting eight months for this to break in. So that's why I tell people, be very patient and see what happens. Because a lot of people want instantaneous results and sometimes the results uh, don't come instantaneous. You have to wait. And that's the biggest thing of this hobby is waiting and making sure things mature. But here it is, right here. The proof is right here. And let's see, the phosphates now are 0.24. So 
so that's pretty low. So this helps control your algae. And as I've told you before in this aquarium, that um, this aquarium gets 14 hours of light a day. So that's a lot of light going in this aquarium without it becoming an algae burden on the aquarium, uh, on the hobbyist. And this is one reason probably why it, uh, it's not getting algae. It doesn't, it can't feed off any nitrates and the phosphates are so low that it's a, not even one part per million. This is 0.24, so that's a quarter part per million of phosphates, which is another thing that causes algae problems. And here you go. This is the update. It's been over eight months, going on nine months, and the tank has finally now, after eight months, broken. This is what I try to tell you in my other videos. Aquariums need to break in. And the good thing of it is this is a sand bottom aquarium and uh, just with some stones in it, uh, gravel from a previous aquarium. That's all it is. It's, it's everything that we all would set up. But it's a plenum and not just set at the bottom. Uh, even with the plants in it, people would say, well, the plants are using the nitrates. And why didn't the Harnworth, as fast as it's growing, use up the nitrates? Why were my nitrates 15, 16, 20 parts per million? What makes a difference now? What, what, what happened? What, what, what changed so much that the nitrates are being used up? Some people would say, well, maybe it's the bamboo. Yeah, but I've been having that bamboo in the tank for a few months now. Never brought the nitrates down or the phosphates down. It didn't make any impact on the aquarium and the nitrate and phosphates. I was still reading nitrates up to 19 parts per million. This is what I try to tell people. Wait for the whole nitrogen cycle to complete. And that takes patience and it takes time. Just be patient and time. This is proof that with a little bit of waiting it out, you'll come up with lower nitrates and lower phosphates if you do things right. And now you are completing the nitrogen cycle in its full. Do water changes need to be made? No, not if you want. And this is the reason why I believe goldfish have been so successful with the anoxy filtration system and with other filtration systems, no matter what I used, I did not have that good of success with goldfish. They're always getting sick. They're always needing chemical treatment. The big difference was once I realized the clay had something to do with it. The nitrates and the phosphates bringing them down. It just made the goldfish a lot healthier. So no chemicals had to be used in the long run. So I thought I'd do this quick video just to show you the test I did this morning to keep everybody up to date. A lot of people say they like these up to date videos because they want to see what's going on in my aquarium uh, using the anoxy filtration system or using a plenum. And that is uh, something they want to see with my test so they know uh, some people's tanks breaking faster, some take a while. This tank, maybe because of the uh, substrate I'm using, took over eight months, almost nine months, to finally break in to start reading very low nitrates. So I'm just showing you what I got. So it will encourage you to be patient. And it will pay off in the long run. When you're testing your aquarium, do the test. I only did mine like once a month so I could see any progress I was making every month. But uh, this is what I got today. So I was shocked that it finally went down. I wasn't expecting it to go down to zero, but I expected maybe five parts per million or something like that or seven. But to go right down the rock bottom zero, I am very happy with it. And I wanted to show you, but it took over eight months to do it. No matter if I had fast growing plants, it still didn't bring the nitrates down. 
no matter what I did, did not bring the nitrates down. The only thing I can say is the system is finally broken in. It's finally done its complete cycle. And I've told you that. Aquariums take quite a few months to finally complete their cycle. Ponds may take a year or two. So you may have to wait out a pond before all of a sudden it kind of settles in and breaks in and you don't have the problems you used to have when it was brand new with uh, pea soup water or anything else. So anyhow, I thought I would show you that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this shows you the complete nitrogen cycle that is happening all by bacteria. This is not by water changes. This is by bacteria only. The plants didn't do it because I've been testing it for eight months. Nitrates were always between 20 to 16 parts per million, as you can see. It finally is completing the nitrogen cycle. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel.